If there is an invention on this planet that revolutionized music culture, it has to be the iPod. But fast forward 21 years after the creation of this portable music player, and Apple has officially announced the discontinuation of the iPod. So, what better time than now to reflect on its journey? This is the evolution of the iPod. 2001 – The First iPod The very first iPod was unveiled on October 23, 2001, making it almost old enough to buy beer at the moment. The gadget device had a rotating wheel for controlling various functions, 5 gigabytes of storage, or 1,000 songs in your pocket, and was all white in color. 2002 – iPod Touch Wheel In 2002, Apple made an upgrade on the first iPod, giving it bigger storage of 10 gigabytes. The controls for this model are similar to the previous iPod, only that the touch wheel area cannot be rotated. 2003 – Pod Dock Connector 19 years ago, in April of 2003, Apple introduced the Pod, featuring a new functionality that allowed users to connect to other devices via the dock. The traditional click wheel was replaced, and all four control buttons were removed. As for the storage, this iteration of the iPod had between 10 and 40 gigabytes of space. Really impressive at that time. 2004 iPod Photo, and iPod Mini. This iPod edition came with several changes, including an overhauled scroll click wheel that incorporated the device's navigation buttons. Its premium version was even better, seeing as it was the first time color screens came to the iPod. You could now look at album art covers and photos in all of their glory. Still, in 2004, the iPod range was extended to include the Mini, where the gadget came in different colors and a more compact form. You could get your hands on a blue, pink, silver, green, or gold iPod. 2005 – iPod Nano and iPod Shuffle This iteration of the iPod was a game-changer at the time, impressing users with just how easily you could slide it into your pocket. In fact, Steve Jobs himself demonstrated sliding the device into the pocket of his jeans. 2005 also saw the unveiling of the iPod Shuffle, the smallest device in the iPod family. As the name suggests, you could play tracks on Shuffle. 2006 – iPod Shuffle Second Generation Apple continued its quest to upgrade the iPod by reducing the size of the long, skinny shuffle, making it even more compact. Another notable development is the move to a clip-on model. 2007 – iPod Classic, iPod Touch, and iPod Nano 3rd Generation This version of the iPod came with a way larger storage, in fact, going up to 160 gigabytes. For users, this meant having a selection of about 40,000 songs. The iPod Touch also arrived in 2007, stunning users with the touchscreen feature that mimicked an iPhone. Finally, the iPod Nano was redesigned to look more square with a wider LED screen. 2008 – iPod Nano 4th Generation When 2008 came, the Nano model was given further tweaks, resulting in a taller and more colorful product line. What took the cake, though, was the motion detection feature that changed songs upon shaking the device. 2009 – iPod Nano 5th Generation and iPod Shuffle 3rd Generation Not much in terms of Nano's design was done in 2009, except for the larger LED screen, inclusion of a camera, and a microphone on the back. 2009 also witnessed the comeback of the Shuffle, only it was made longer and slimmer this time and a headphone port that could connect to the USB port of a computer became a thing. 2010 – iPod Touch 4th Generation, iPod Nano 6th Generation, and iPod Shuffle 4th Generation. The 2010 iteration of the iPod Touch was made to look like the iPhone, going as far as to include a camera and a FaceTime HD camera. Still, in 2010, Apple's design team worked on the Nano, cutting its size in half. Specifically, it was the first Nano to encompass touchscreen capabilities. Also in 2010, the Shuffle was redesigned to look like the Nano, minus the LED display. 2012 – iPod Nano 7th Generation Apple was back redesigning the Nano in 2012, 
making it longer in size and with a full-length touchscreen. 2013 to 2015. In 2013 and 2014, the iPod was re-released, but was only available in 2015. The iPod Touch 6th generation held its design, save for the inclusion of the iSight camera and FaceTime HD camera. 2016 to 2019 iPod Touch 7th Generation Apple stunned users by launching the iPod Touch 7 in 2019, as it was the first upgrade since 2015. It was extremely light and allowed gaming. The device's design remained the same, but it has an 8 megapixel camera, a FaceTime HD camera, and a maximum storage capacity of 256 gigabytes, about 64,000 songs. The iPod Touch 7 is the latest iPod available. All said, Apple has sold an estimated 450 million iPod products as of 2022. Impressive! What do you think? Let us know in the comments which iPod is your favorite. While you're at it, subscribe to the channel for more cool tech evolution videos like this one. With that, let's wrap it up. See you next time!